Let's see. Let's see. Let's try solving this equation. To solve this equation, you first have to isolate the radical, okay? So, to isolate the radical, we first subtract 4 from both sides, okay? So, we get um, the square root of negative 3x plus 10 equals x minus 4, okay? Then, uh, get rid of that radical by squaring both sides, okay? So, that gives us negative 3x plus 10. And if we square the right-hand side, that means to foil it out, okay? We end up getting x squared minus 8x plus 16, okay? Now it's a quadratic, so get zero on one side, factor the other side, say these factor equal to zero. So getting zero on one side, we have to add three x and then subtract 10. So that gives us zero equals x squared um, minus five x plus six. Okay, got it. And now factor the other side, since there's a one in front, we can factor by double, bubble, okay? X and X, and then you numbers that multiply give me six, adds give me negative five. So negative three and negative two, okay? And now we set each factor equal to zero. So x minus three equals zero, and x minus two equals zero. So x equals three, and x equals two. That'd be our solutions, right? Wait a second. Since it's a radical equation, we have to check these solutions to make sure we don't get any extraneous solutions, okay? Let's plug them back in. Okay, so that gives us four plus the square root of negative three times three plus 10. Is that equal to three? Is this true? Well, the positive square root of one is one. So is four plus one, is that equal to three? Well, that's just not true because five does not equal three, okay? Well, let's check the other one. So four plus the square root of negative three times two plus 10, is that equal to two? Is that true? So four plus two, is that equal to two? It's just not true. So six does not equal two. So what's the solution to this equation? There is no solution to this equation. Always remember, math is everywhere.